this took me three hours but it doesn't have to take you that long hey guys it's lauren and today i'm going to be showing you guys how to customize your iphone this is specifically towards the new ios 14 yeah i'm going to show you guys how to do it really easily i'm going to be showing you guys how i customized it to look like this Hopefully it doesn't take you as long as it took me because of the things I'm going to show you. Let's just get started. Okay, so this is my lock screen and once you unlock my phone, these are the two pages. Also ignore this band-aid on my chest. I like scratched it. There's like a scratch there and it's really ugly so I covered it with a frozen band-aid. So the first thing I'm going to be talking about is widgets. Widgets are these big things up here. If you see like the Sunday, September 20th, 1111. Ooh, it's 1111 make a wish i made a wish okay that is what a widget is if you've seen any other videos or photos of ios 14 then you've most likely seen this and i have another one over here so i'm going to show you guys how i did the first widget there's a lot of different apps that you guys can use and i'm just going to tell you about the ones i use so for this one i used color widgets it looks like that to download it just go to the app store and get the one that has this icon once you get it you're going to open it up and on here, they have a bunch of different widgets and there's just a bunch of different designs. This pink one right here is what I used, but I customized it. And I personally like this app for it because they have like Halloween, flowers. They just have a lot of different choices. For this app, it's only calendar widgets. Before I show you how to actually add it to your home screen, I'm going to show you guys how I made these widgets. These widgets are actually ones that I use my own photos for and I just put it in here. For these two, I used an app called Widget Smith. So the icon should look like that with like a little square. But once you download it, you're going to open it. I hope I'm explaining this clear enough because for me it was personally really confusing. There's three different sizes for the widgets. So there's small, medium, and then large. The ones that I have at the very top, those are size mediums. And this one of my dog, Teddy, is actually a size small. You choose whatever size that you want. Just for example, let's do a medium one. You want to choose add medium widget. And then a default calendar one will pop up, but then you tap on it to edit it and then this another screen will pop up. And then you tap to rename. You could rename it whatever you really want. I'm just going to do YouTube video, save. So you click on it again and then click again. So on here they have a bunch of different choices. So it could be time, clock date and then here is where you can choose your own photos to put if you want to choose your own photos like i did and if you keep scrolling down you could just do like calendar reminders weather that is basically how to customize your widgets so i'm gonna delete that one because i don't need it now that hopefully you guys understand how to make a widget then i'm gonna show you guys how to actually put it on your home screen so just pretend i just finished editing this widget then you're gonna click save and then you're gonna go back to your home screen you can exit the app once you press save make sure you press save and just hold down you could just hold down a random app and then you click edit home screen so when everything is beginning to shake and stuff then there's gonna be a plus button at the top of your screen so click that plus button these widgets that are already here are ones that apple has like pre-made for you so you could either choose those or you could scroll down to the ones that you just made i don't know why my phone is like acting up right now but um you just scroll down and then whichever app that you used you could just click on it so for widget smith we're gonna use the medium if that's what you did or the small or the large whatever size you did and then you click add widget so if you are making multiple of the same size widgets and now you have two of the same ones all you have to do is exit the edit then hold it down again then an option to edit your widget only will pop up and you click that and then this menu will pop up and it tells you which widget title you're using tap that and then you could change it to the one that you want labeling them is really important for when you actually put it on your home screen because that is what's going to help you choose the right one so yeah that is how you add your widgets now i'm going to show you guys how to hide pages once you update your phone you are going to have your pages right here but once you slide again there's going to be your app library with all the apps 
what I like about this update is that you could hide your apps and hide pages too. So to hide your apps, you hold it down again, edit home screen, and the minus button, once you click it, then you could either delete the app if you want to just completely delete it from your phone, or you could do move to app library, and once you click move to app library, then it'll disappear from your home screen and go over here into one of these categories. So that is how you hide an app. So if you think an app is ugly on your home screen or anything, then just hide it. You can also hide pages, which I thought was super cool. How to do that, you hold down again, edit home screen again. Down here, there's going to be those dots that show how many pages you have. So you tap on that. For each page that you have, there's going to be a check mark. If you do check it and the circle is filled with a check and you go back to your home screen, then all of those pages are gonna appear. But if you wanna get rid of it, just uncheck it, go back, and it's gonna be gone. It doesn't permanently delete the page, which I love because there are a lot of folders that I worked really hard on to organize them and I didn't wanna just lose them all. Now I'm going to talk about the icons or the covers for my apps. This is probably what took me the longest because I wanted to go for a pink theme, but after I like almost finished the whole thing, I hated it. So I had to change the whole thing again. So I actually got these icons from a website that had Instagram icons for your like Instagram stories. And using this website was so useful because I didn't have to go around looking for my own photos or editing my own photos. I was just able to get a template. So I will link the website that I used down below so you guys can use the same ones. And they're not just blue, they also have like pink, purple, they have different themes, go use it. I will link it down below. I'm gonna show you guys how to change the actual photos of your apps. I'm just gonna warn you guys about something. Once you change the photos and you do all these steps to change the photo of your apps, once you click it, this is what it's gonna look like. Say I'm opening calendar, it'll go to shortcuts and then my calendar and you'll see why but that happens for every single app that you guys change the cover of if you do want to change the cover of your apps all you have to do is go to shortcuts this is an apple app but it's deletable so you might have deleted it for more storage but if you did just re-download it so basically you're gonna go to shortcuts and trust me, I was so confused because I never use shortcuts and I was just confused on what was happening. <laughs> so once you open the app, this is what you're going to see. And you're going to see a plus button at the top, so just click that. And you're going to see this page. Just click add action. Now you're going to type open app. This will all make sense in a few seconds, I swear. So you're gonna do open app and you're gonna find the one with like this little colorful icon. Tap on that one. And now you're gonna see this and it says open choose so now you're gonna choose the app that you want to change the cover of so say i was gonna do amazon i would type amazon click that app now it should say open and then the app you want to open then there's three dots right here tap that and once you tap that then you want to click add to home screen and once you click add to home screen, then you're gonna see this page. So here is where you can edit the photo. Tap this icon with the little blue outlining. Tap that, choose photo. And I'm just gonna do this just for example. And then you have your new icon, but you're not done yet. You have to change the name, which is literally right next to the icon. So I'm just gonna title it YouTube video because this is just an example. Then you're gonna tap add and right after you tap add it's gonna tell you hopefully that it added to the home screen and then once you get to your home screen your app is gonna be on your home screen so yeah you could then move this around wherever you want you could put it here you could put it here you could put it wherever you want yeah that is how you change it that is probably what's gonna take you guys the longest it's not hard I just think it takes up a lot of time also if you guys didn't notice already I didn't put any social media on my pages because I'm trying to use it less so I just figured if it's not on my home screen I will hopefully not use it as much so most of the photos I used for my apps are from the website that I will put Below, but down here where you see my phone messages and Safari those I actually made myself on Canva I'll show you guys 
this is what it looks like with the blue green and purple so once you open the app it'll look like this so what i did was click logo and they have a bunch of free templates that you guys can use so you guys can even use this to make all of your icons for your apps but that'll take a little bit longer the one i used was the second one and then to match the blue theme that I had going on, I changed this peachy color to baby blue. So you could just change your own color and like customize it. I'm just gonna leave it like that. I just deleted this part. And then I just added an element and you could just search like phone, which is what I did. And you just put in that. And that is the icon that is on my phone. That is the basics of customizing your phone with iOS 14. If you guys were wondering, my wallpaper is actually from Pinterest. I also made my own wallpaper with just like random photos that I liked from Pinterest. I hope this video was helpful for you guys and I hope I explained it well enough if I didn't. And if you guys have any questions, just ask down below and I'll try my best to answer them. Another thing that I wanna warn you guys about is if you guys do use different apps for the widgets, the title for those widgets are probably gonna be the app. So like for me when I put a photo the bottom would say widget smith because that is the app that I use personally it doesn't bother me too much but that might bother some people so I'm just warning you guys about it like this video if it was helpful for you or if you just enjoyed it make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see other videos from me thank you guys for watching I would love to see the way that you guys do your customization I think that'd be really cool so all my social media is linked down below hopefully I see you guys in my next videos Peace.